speaking of sweet, uh, you have a little one, obviously, on, on the way. Yeah. And how, how far along is Susan at this point? She's in her seventh month. So soon. Yeah, she's huge. Is she huge? Well, she's good. She's, she, Don't tell her that. All right. Most other gals say, oh, my God, you're barely showing. <laughs> but she's kind of a tiny yeah. person. So right. for, to, to me, she's, she's expanded. Yeah. And, and uh, do you know yet if it's a boy or girl? We know the sex and we know the name. And she's told me that uh, I will lose my tongue if I share it before she's ready. Under penalty of death, you will say nothing. Yeah, or at least loss of tongue. Yeah, loss of tongue. That, that wouldn't be good. Are you excited? Of Are you course. guys both excited? Yeah. yeah. It, it'll be nice. I mean, I think, um, I think it'll uh, speed up certain things developmentally, and it will also force a bit of a, you know, a pump in the brakes a little bit here, probably not try to do so many movies back-to-back -back and, and get down to what's important. Uh, your son is, what, a teenager now? He's 18. 18. Yeah. So is he looking forward to a little brother or sister? Yeah, I think so. Here's this would be the trifecta. Indio turns eighteen, and we have our next kid, and then when that kid turns eighteen. Stop. No, stop. All right, I don't know. What to do. Susan would not like hearing that. Right, <laughs> but you got to think about where science is going to be. <laughs> oh, we, I'm looking around we, for help here. <laughs> I've, I've Wait, gone. Where is science going to be? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? We could freeze a couple eggs. Uh -huh. I could. Uh, maybe there's a uh, a. a um, automaton if she's busy that night <laughs> you might be slowing down doing movies but there's talk of you playing Perry Mason yes. on screen is, so this is happening yeah yeah but it but doesn't have to happen right away I'll go do uh, uh, I'll come talk to you about Avengers mm -hmm. next Which, spring and then I'll go about? shoot Iron Man 3 and then I think I'll you know Take a pause yeah. there. I mean, three is probably the best script I've read in five years, really? which is so funny. I mean, things have come so full circle that, like, a genre superhero movie can actually be the most artistic bit of writing I read. Um, but I think uh, Avengers is something that a lot of the, the fans are, are really looking forward to, and so I'm excited about that. And then the third Iron Man, to me, is, is an opportunity to really just go back to the kind of storytelling and character exploration that made the first one good. Yeah. Do you think you would ever record another album? Sure. I mean, have you thought about it? Because it's been a while. It's been, uh, right. what, like seven years? Yeah, it's been a while. I mean, I imagine, you know, me and Susan have a kid, and then I go, you know what, I'm between projects, honey, but I'm going to go in the studio. <laughs> like, how do you think that's going to fly? Uh, if the studio's in the house, it'll probably fly very well. I remember telling you you said that. Okay. <laughs> Now, you and Susan, Team Downey, mm -hmm. which I love the name, yeah. it, it, you're producing a project that was in development actually for Steve McQueen back in the day called Yucatan? Called Yucatan, yeah. This is exciting. It's really cool. It was a um, something he'd worked on. He had about 2,000 pages of poetry and pictures and ideas and characters, and we're uh, distilling that into this kind of uh, adventure film that we're talking to some interesting folks about. Will you play the character that Steve McQueen would have played? I will play the character, yes. That's awesome. I know. That is awesome. A lot uh, of people are very jealous of me saying that. Uh, well, so I'm going to keep it under my hat, uh, except with you. Except right here. Yeah. I think it was one of the classiest things that I've ever seen any, anyone do for anyone else. What you said about Mel Gibson at your award ceremony uh, a couple weeks ago was just very touching and I'm curious to hear what his reaction was after you gave him such public support uh, I think it's always embarrassing to show someone that you're uh, your friend and you love them in public so um, I think he was probably a little surprised um, I don't know we've taken turns uh, embarrassing each other for many decades now and coming to each other when we'd embarrass ourselves so this is this is just an old routine for us yeah but I would imagine he was very, very pleased and touched by your, your gesture. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Whatever you say. Do you, last question. Do you still have some of the authentic vintage clothing from Chaplin? I do have a couple articles. Nice. I have in a shipping container. Oh, no, not nice. It should be displayed. Right. I'm not that guy, though. I don't have no. things in, like, plexiglass boxes everywhere. In the recording studio, in your home. Good idea. <laughs> More of an homage to self. Maybe I'll just put mirrors everywhere. And then my wife can come in and dynamite it and go, you are changing the diapers for the next three weeks.